Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and no doubt you're familiar with the next generation science standards. In one of those dimensions, the disciplinary core ideas, we look at the content nuggets that the students need to be familiar with. One of those is waves and how waves transfer energy from one place to another. And you know what? We're going to take a look at a great demonstration using sound waves. For this demonstration, all you need is the following. An aluminum pie pan makes a great tambourine. You'll also need some cereal. Any cereal works. Try to get the smaller, lighter grains because they will respond better to sound energy. You'll also need some sort of amplification device. And I've got a speaker system right here. Okay, what do you need to do? First, you'll need to pour some of the cereal into the aluminum pie plate. Just like that. We're just going to cover the bottom. You can see it right there. Then we'll set this on top of our speaker. Just like that. Next, we're ready for some action. I'm going to take the microphone and take a look at what happens to the cereal grains when I begin to speak into this microphone. Hello. Did you see that? There were vibrations. Let's try it again. Hello. A little bit louder. And notice that the vibrations are a little bit more intense. Take a closer look. In fact, some of those cereal grains are just flying out of that little pan. Now, suppose we want to turn on the music. Let's see what happens then. The DJ is in the house. Hey, take a look at those cereal grains and how they react to the energy of the sound waves. Great way to cover the DCIs that relate to sound and energy transfer. And not only can you use this as a demo, but you can engage the students to learn on their own by exploring the different properties of these grains as they dance to variable volumes of music. So have a great time teaching sound according to the next generation science standards.